Well, hey there, Scott. Uh, shares of Palo Alto now in the positive. They dipped after the initial result, even though the company reported inline revenues and a pretty strong beat on EPS. EPS more than 10 cents above estimates. Also, pretty strong forward guidance when it comes to earnings. The revenue guidance was inline. The earnings guidance, however, was strong when it comes to EPS. Looking deeper into the number, the billings were in line with estimate. Uh, free cash flow was above estimates. So just looking deeper into numbers, why the stock dipped initially. Uh, again, right now, a beat, uh, excuse me, revenues that were in line, a strong beat on EPS, 10 cents above estimates. Shares of Palo Alto Networks now up 2%. We're going to continue to dig in these numbers, Scott. All right, good stuff. Uh, hear from you again. So, Stephanie Link, I mean, look, you take NVIDIA yesterday, which some characterized as good enough. You take these, um, some of the others we've gotten. I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for earnings to substantially deteriorate because they don't really seem to be to this point. Well, uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think that the earnings guide will be more, the downward revisions will be more in the first quarter, second quarter kind of thing. Um, right now, these stocks are still down quite a bit year to date. So maybe these are relief rallies. I mean, everybody knew applied materials numbers because they pre-announced when they talked about China restrictions hurting them $400 million in the next two quarters. At that time, they pre-announced numbers. So we kind of knew it was going to be ugly. We also know that wafer fab equipment spend has been coming down dramatically from the 90 to 100 billion range over the next two years to 70 to 75 billion. So you have to hear what they have to say about that. But I think the expectations are pretty draconian. And the stock's pretty cheap, 14.8 times. Now, on Palo Alto, the stock's not cheap, 49 times for it, forward estimates. But if you could do a 22% billings number in line, people mm -hmm. were thinking, there was whispers that they were going to do less than that. And they did mid-30s last quarter. So um, we expected a decel, got the decel, wasn't any worse than expected. So maybe you have a pop. I still like the cybersecurity space. You know I'm involved in Fortinet. Yeah, Fortinet. Um, but yeah. overall, overall numbers, they, ha they are not coming down as much now. They're going to come down in the first half of next year.